In this session, we're going to talk about the chain rule. So the chain rule is needed when you're taking the derivative of composition functions. So composition functions is something that you would have talked about in pre-calculus, which refers to f of g or g of f. We have a function inside of another function. That's a composition function. That's what we have right here. So we're going to be, if we're given something like that, f is going to be considered an outside function, and you have a u to be considered the inside function. So if you want to take the derivative of something like that, here is the formula that you're going to use for that one. The derivative of y is equal to the derivative of the outside function and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The reason why it's called chain rule is because you might have several inside functions. You might have an outside, an inside, an inside function. And then what happens is you take the derivative of the outside one and then you keep going inward. So you keep taking the derivative all the way inside and you may have more derivatives that are kind of chained on the end here that's all mul multiplied. That's why it's called the chain rule. So I have a problem here that's going to help illustrate the chain rule idea, how it works. So for this problem, we want to write the expression in the form y equals f of u. So we want to identify what the outside function is and what the inside function is. And once we do that, then we're going to take the derivative and we're going to use the chain rule in order to do that. Now before I jump into that, let's first rewrite this as, as this with a negative exponent. We want to do that because this avoids the quotient rule. We don't need to worry about doing that if we have it written here in this form. So first we'll write it out uh, like this. Then we want to identify the outside and the inside function. Well first, let's look for an inside function. The inside function would be one that's usually inside set of parentheses. So in this case, the inside function is x plus 3. So I'm going to say that my u is equal to x plus 3. That's the inside function. If I want to find f of u, what happens is I'm going to replace the x plus 3 with the u. And so then my f of u, if it asks for it, would be this. Negative 5 u to the negative 3, or I could simply write it y equals negative 5 u to negative 3. So here's my inside function, that's my u. Here's my outside function. Okay, let's take a look at the formula, and we're going to do this with the derivative, so we want to find dy dx. Okay, now the way this works, it says find the derivative of f. That's this one right here. That's going to evolve the power rule. Negative 3 comes down and multiplies by the negative 5. That's going to give you 15 and I have u to the negative 4. So I, that's the f prime to u part I did, the derivative of the outside part. Next, I want to multiply this by the derivative of u. Okay, the derivative for u, here it is right here, x plus 3. That derivative is going to be 1 because you're just going to get the constant that comes in front of the x. So I'll get a 1 that's right here. Finally, what you'll do is you'll just put, plug the u back in, and you'll write your answer dy dx is equal to uh, 15. It would be 15 over u to the fourth. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and put in x plus 3 and write that to the fourth power. And so this would be your derivative. We have applied the chain rule by using the outside function. We did the derivative here using power rule, and then we multiplied it by the derivative of the inside. 